and let's just make this clear. President Trump and Congressman Elijah Cummings have never been chummy. There's a, some bad blood there and some uh, some political rivalry ever since Cummings took over as chair of the House Oversight Committee, which continues to investigate the White House and the executive branch. But this newest row started at 714 AM with a tweet. The president attacking Representative Cummings and calling his district, the seventh district, a disgusting rat and rodent infested mess and a dangerous and dirty place. Baltimore city leaders decided to go offline for their response and they threw together a rally just an hour ago right here in front of City Hall. This president has had a history of attack, attacking minorities. Um, he attacked the Congress women. He's attacking Elijah Cummings. Who else is he going to attack? We're going to push forward without anyone's help. That's what our city is based on. We are a gritty, grimy place. We come back from odds that no one thinks we can do. And if anyone's unsure about that, watch Showtime tonight and you'll see what Baltimore is all about. He's talking about the big fight that's taking place tonight at the Royal Farms Arena. Now, Elijah Cummings declined our request for an interview today on this topic, but he put it all out there on Twitter responding to President Trump, basically responding to the tweet and the possible reasons behind it, saying, quote, it is my constitutional duty to conduct oversight of the executive branch, but it is my moral duty to fight for my constituents. Some detractors of the president are calling these tweets racist. We asked the city leaders about that. Hear what they think coming up tonight at 10 and 11 o'clock. Reporting live outside of Baltimore City Hall, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.